I, Ochuli Ojanimi Okutepa. I, Julia Onyete Agnes Ochuli Okutepa. Take you, Julia Onyete Okutepa, again. Take you, Ochuli Ojanimi Okutepa, again. Yeah, welcome to 10. <laughs> <laughs> Already? <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, like yesterday. Yes. So, hi, it's 10. Ah! It's, it's, it's seeming unbelievable. I can't believe mm. it's 10 years already. With this kind of amazing guy, yeah? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, how did we meet again? Um, courtesy of uh, my two roommates, you know, one of them just kept playing a CD about a young guy and they say he's in 100 level, <laughs> preaching one dangerous, you know, relationship message and I'm like, I'm, I want to ask these guy questions, I have mm. questions. Mm. And that fateful day, I just saw you walking into chapel. I was sweeping the chapel, really. Yeah, you went, you went for a rehearsal. Yes. You, were, you had rehearsal, you arrived early, you were trying to clean up the place. Yes. And for some reason, I was just going to class, and as is customary with Christian brothers, <laughs> I was following the chapel. Following for what? I don't know, but God was arranging my work. Yes. Just, I just quickly went to you and asked you took your chance person. i took my chance mm. see where I, the chance has got you wait, wait <laughs> I, I didn't know i was taking a chance then i just thought i was asking a question let me hear more from this guy well, me i was seeing a woman that's the truth that day i didn't know i didn't see man I mean, all i saw was jesus christ this girl is beautiful like you you, you know what i can't even me. remember your question i can't remember my answer but i know you know what I got me what, what got you your passion for christ mm. as in the way you mm. taught the Bible. Ah, the way I, I teach it, please, not the way I taught yes, it. Yes, the way you teach it. Ah, I teach it. You know, I can remember we would stay in front of the hostel and we, we could stand for like three hours and you just be meeting word. I remember, I remember, I remember. And I'm like, wow. And and it's so amazing how God moved you from main campus where you had gotten your admission. Uh, you know, they gave you something that was in main campus and change of course brought you to Congo campus. You know, God is so deliberate about how he arranges things. As my lawfully wedded wife, my lawfully wedded husband, to under God's holy ordinance and will, under God's holy ordinance and will, of my free will, of my own free will, devotion, devotion, commitment, commitment, and bind myself to you again, and bind myself to you again. Are you happy for it today? Uh, marrying you. It was one of the best decisions I ever made. It was. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my yeah. God. Well, it's the same. It's the same. So <laughs> let me let me drag the point. It's the same here. Yeah. What, what what lessons would you say you've learned in this time of marriage? I've learned that you should be intentional. Okay. And purposeful about your marriage, as in be intentional about the joy and happiness of your spouse. You committed to marrying them, so indeed marry them. Hmm. Be intentional about finding out. You know, there's there are things that you do that amaze me till date. Oh, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. the way you you love to see things that I like and love and repeat it again, like do it again. Intentionality is <laughs> intentionality is absolutely. You know, you can't you can't debate intentionality no. because um, I, I've also seen how intentional you are about this marriage. A lot of people just want marriage to happen to them. Yeah. But but I see the way we make the effort to craft what we want. Yeah. You know, like I always explain, um, marriage is like a blank canvas. Yes. It's given to you to paint what you want. You know, and a lot of a lot of people even focus on admiring what other people have. Why not creating what they can have? Yeah. You know, and it, it just it just makes it so easy that uh, being intentional creates the marriage we want. I mean. So, um, I don't see why anybody should do otherwise. Yes. So, saying that, do, do you believe that everybody can excel in marriage? Yes. I believe everybody can excel in marriage. It's what you want. If you want to have a great marriage, then put in the needed work to have that marriage. Like he said, it's a blank, it's a blank canvas. You paint what you want. So, mm. what, how you use your brush, the, the, the mindset you have, the, the things you think about and how you implement them is what gives you a beautiful marriage. So if you want a beautiful marriage, it doesn't matter if you started off on a rough track. Aha, uh -huh, you've gotten me somewhere. Yeah, okay. Okay, because sometimes when we keep putting out all these pictures and videos and stuff, people may think that it's just, 
a smooth ride of no bombs and ah. all of that. So how do you navigate the bombs and the potholes and the challenges that come with marriage? Because challenges come with marriage. Yes. We had we have had our fair share, we'll have more. I mean, because we're not planning to end it here. Ah no. Okay. <laughs> this is not journey to ten and stop. It's no. just journey to ten and start. Yes. All right. So uh, how what would you say about navigating challenges, you know, to keep it up? You know, I remember when we got married. I was, I was, because I know I was marrying a lawyer, as in, this guy, you don't want to argue with my husband, no, as in, just, <laughs> <laughs> so I made it a point to, you know, demand my rights, you know, and uh, I found that I, I when making so much progress, you know, and I decided it was a decision to uphold the unity of this marriage, and it has brought back so much positive results, because I see that um, we are together in this yeah. and we should make progress together. It's not just about me. It's not just about you. It's about us. So in essence, selfishness was toned down. Yes. Uh, you know, and, and I agree with you because I had to also focus and do that. <laughs> Uh, because sometimes you win the argument, you lose your spouse. Yeah. And like I keep saying, none of you is as important as both of you. Yes. You know, it, it's so important to come to that point. And uh, basically, um, this even flows from First Corinthians chapter seven, message translation, mm -hmm. where it says, "Marriage is not a place to stand up for your rights. Yeah. All right, but it's a place to serve your partner, whether in bed or out. All right. So um, I, I think that's that's one big advice we must leave for couples out there. So I think one final question on this uh, 10th anniversary. Okay. Um, when you look back from 20th anniversary, let's make 20th the next target. Okay. What would you want to look back and see? I would want to look back and see that besides, you know, achieving the joy, the sharing life together with you, I want to look back and see that we inspired a lot of people, a lot of couples, to find joy in their marriages, to build life together, you know, build an edifice together. Find joy, find love, and you know, make your partner the happiest person ever. You know, I would want to look back and believe that we, we inspired more people. In this vow renewal. In this vow renewal. To be with you. To be with you. To hold you. To hold you. To care for you. To care for you. To assure you always. To assure you always. From this day. From this day. And for the rest of our lives. And for the rest of our lives. Till death do us part. Death do us part. I love you today. See how I'm just blushing and smiling. So, well, with all of this, we don't want to say much. And then rush is sweet. Now I'm looking forward to 20. Julia has set a big target. We want more couples, more families. I think we're going to make a big occasion out of 20th. Um, have a lot of couples come together to celebrate love yeah. and just enjoy life. So before we get out of here, I think I'm going to get a kiss. You sure yeah. will. I sure will. In fact, like you were waiting for this one. Aww. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, enjoy yourself. <laughs> Happy 10th anniversary.